Okay, in this video, I am going to show you how to fix a code on a Subaru. This is a Subaru with a 2.5 liter H4 engine, which is a common engine used in a lot of Subarus. And this code that pops up is a P2021 tumble generator valve position sensor. Um, this is number two and circuit low. This could, it could be number one or number two, depending on which bank it is. The reason I'm making this video has happened to me twice this week, where someone has worked on this car, and after they've worked on the car, this code has come up. So I'm going to show you what has happened that's caused this code and how to fix it. Now, if no one has worked on the car before or recently, then we probably will need a new sensor or have some other kind of an issue. Now, as we look at the engine, I'm looking at the front here. Looking down, here's the, here's the belt. Here's the intake manifold. You'll see this runner is closer to the front than the other, right? This one is closer to me than this one is. And that means this is bank one. This is cylinder number one, so that's bank one. This one said the code was on bank two. This tumble generator valve position sensor is actually, it goes right down in here and I've taken it off. It's just like a throttle position sensor and it fits right onto this. And what has happened is someone has worked on this and they just put it right back on like this. That doesn't work, right? It'll cause the circuit to read zero volts. So what has to happen is you need to turn this counterclockwise 90 degrees so that the connector is facing up. Maybe even just a little bit more than 90 degrees, if you can see that. I know it's kind of hard to see like this. And now, if, once it's on there, I'm going to rotate it clockwise as I rotate it, I can feel the spring inside of there. I feel the spring working against me because I'm, I'm actually rotating the potentiometer inside of the sensor. I'm rotating it and I'm feeling the spring work against me. I rotate it right to that point where I can put the screws in again. And I kind of have to hold it there because the spring wants to rotate it back counterclockwise. But if I mount that on there like that and bolt it on, that will fix it. And by the way, the same thing is true if you replace the sensor. If you're installing a new sensor and you just put it on there without rotating it like that, you'll get a low voltage reading and you'll get a code and the engine could idle roughly or run poorly because of it. Anyway, that's how you fix it. 